So obviously here at the Paris Air Show, we're going to be talking about the French military. And as you just saw there, that's some commemorative tail art celebrating the 100th anniversary of the squadron of Rafal M's that, that are based off of the, of the carrier Charles de Gaulle that we see here right on display. Now this aircraft is quite a distinctive profile if you've seen it with the forward canards, the large delta wing, and now I'm also kind of standing here, if we come over just a little bit here, you see the very distinctive shape of that front cockpit, the refueling probe that's right up here allowing it to be refueled in flight, and then down here underneath we have a uh, one of the most famous anti-ship missiles in the world, actually an Exocet missile sitting right here on the center line. So one of the big reasons that carrier aviation exists is that these aircraft could be used to strike ships and other targets throughout the world. So let's go take a look at some other stuff on display in this booth. So the other Rafale that's on display over here in the French military's booth is this one from the French Air Force. Now as you can see, it's slightly shorter than that naval Rafale we were just standing next to, but still the very distinctive profile here in front. Now one thing they're really showcasing over at the, this side is the aircraft's gun. You see the 30 millimeter cannon right here with the, with the shells kind of arrayed out here. That's quite a big cannon for on a air fighter aircraft. The US usually mounts a 20 to a 25 millimeter gun, so just slightly larger. But again, you can see here the very distinctive profile, many munitions mounted back here underneath the wing to show the aircraft's carrying capability. And this is set to be the Rafale, the French Air Force is working on many modernization programs for the Rafale with the F-4 block still kind of in production and working to go. So let's go take a look at another thing that's on display here, which is the Tigre attack helicopter. So one of the more unique features of just about any attack helicopter is the main gun. So here, just like you see on an American Apache helicopter, you'll see the chin mounted 30 millimeter gun right here, provides a lot of firepower, can be used both against personnel, vehicles, even their aircraft if needed. And if you look across at the rest of the helicopter, you see the very slim body that you see on most attack helicopters, the rocket pods over here, hard points that can be used for a lot of things. We see rocket points, rocket pods obviously here. On the other side, you have various other mountings that can be used for missiles or things like that. And they're getting this one ready for more display here at the show. We've already seen it flying multiple times. Quite impressive to watch, I would say. And uh, this helicopter certainly showed its stuff here at the Paris Air Show. Now, as we finish up, let's go take a look at a helicopter that's the future of the French military. So standardization is key across many different militaries. And one thing that the French military is looking to do is kind of standardize a light helicopter across all three services, both the French Army, Air Force, and Navy. So they were, they've chosen this one, the Airbus H160 that you see here. It's quite impressive. They'll be equipped across all the different services used for everything from personnel insertion to utility work to cargo to a very variety of different things that will be coming across here. Now as we wrap up this 2019 Paris Air Show, there's been lots of things on display, but certainly here for the French military, they've put on quite the show.